smoking weed with your dad? Holy shit. I can't imagine that. Oh, You're a fun girl. You're a fun girl. Rod to everybody. I can't win. I can't win. All right, let's give it up for our next comic. Da, 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 da. Steve Faulkner. Woo! Come on up. Keep it going for our MC. Ow! Thank you. Um, just moved to LA like a year ago. That still counts as just just now, right? Yes. Um, I like hitting up Runyon Canyon. I like hiking. I like Runyon Canyon because it has a lot of dogs. Except what's weird is uh, Runyon Canyon has a lot of purebred dogs. Purebred dogs are strange because people that like purebred dogs are basically dog racists. And I think they need to admit that. I mean, like, the Westminster Kennel Show is basically what Hitler wanted the 1936 Berlin Olympics to be. <laughs> Best in toy breed, Japanese. <laughs> and I want them in that order. Japanese, Thai. <laughs> if you like that joke, it's because you like racial profiling or the Westminster Kennel Show. Um, I was recently uh, hanging out with some writers in a coffee shop in the 1940s. Just fucking go with it, I'm going to tell you And uh, there was a competition post, which was create the best short story, and it can only be a sentence long. And uh, fucking Hemingway was there, like a douche. And the short story was for sale, baby crib, never used. Which was pretty fucking good, I gotta tell you. Because it evoked a lot of emotion about, what was this baby crib for? This carriage, why was it never used? So I tried, I tried to go the dramatic route. I tried to post something about the modern bachelor. And I said, Subway, eat fresh napkin filled with cum. <laughs> <laughs> and Hemingway won. But it was really fucking close. <laughs> I'm, a tri I am a time traveler. Not a lot of people believe that. And it's kind of hard to, uh, to tell that to people. Because uh, they, they don't believe you. But it is pretty simple. Um... For example, what's strange about being a time traveler is you can't influence history. Like, you can't do something that will change history. For example, um, the Civil War could have been won by the South if General Lee's orders uh, hadn't been wrapped in three cigars and left for the Union to find. And I was there, and I could have changed it. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, what if we still had slavery? Like, I could do this. I could, I could, we could still fucking have slavery. And uh, really, the main consequence, if we still had slavery, just birthdays would be really weird, basically. <laughs> Sweet 16, here is a person. <laughs> <laughs> Our society is so fucked up, though, that if you got a person, we would just whine about it. I know white people, and I know our phones, and if we had slaves, <laughs> we would fucking whine about it. And you know what? We would try to buy American slaves... But we would end up buying Chinese slaves, quite frankly. It's just how they're cheaper to make. It's not racist, it's slavery. My next set is uh, in a coffee shop in the Victorian era, so I'm going to do some jokes that are about that. Thank you. Um, I just flew in from New York, and boy are those orphans' arms tired. <laughs> I hear some homosexual gentlemen want to get married. My only question, who reserves the brandy room after dinner? <laughs> Have you noticed the price of petrol gasoline for your automobile? It's higher than the Pope's mitre. <laughs> the Pope's mitre. So that's what I'm going to open with in the Victorian era. Um, today I ate at Chipotle. And... Uh, what I love about eating at Chipotle is if you get a burrito and you're white, you can see what your body will look like after you eat that burrito. <laughs> because it resembles the burrito. Um, but I did something strange. I did something strange when I was getting the drink. I asked for water, and I go up to the water thing, and I push a little water, and the water comes out, and then I add ice cubes, which nothing will convince people that you're an alien trying to pretend to be a human. <laughs> than putting water or a liquid in a cup and then adding the ice cubes. <laughs> the 
Do you like that one? Okay. Um, <laughs> a lot of guys, I'll leave you with a little one-liner. A lot of guys like the 69 position. I prefer the 96 position. That's where you have a fight and you sleep facing opposite sides. <laughs> My name is Stephen Fogger. I'm a time traveler. Let's hear it.